Welcome to the Spitter Swallowed Beer Review. Shag Dog Spitter Swallowed Beer Review doing fantastic. Hey, he's in period IPA. You probably can't see that because the yellow somehow picks is almost like green with a green screen. That's weird, huh? Uh, this one on Beer Advocate gets an 88. They consider it a New England IPA. Uh, 9% ABV. Of course, brewed by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company, which is, what is that, Chico, California? Hey, yo, Chico, right? Uh, they say we were in search of something fantastic, something juicy, something hazy, something ripe with notes of mango, melon, and citrus. So we said, reason be damned, and filled our kettles with five hot varieties and loaves of malt, oats, and wheat. Some may call, the absurd, call that absurd. We call it absurdly fantastic. Uh, has two row malts. It has two row pale oats and wheat. And hops. It has Chinook, Azaka, Amarillo, and Idaho 7, and Strata. Yeast is ale yeast. Nice. So let's get into it. Uh, nice can, it's yellow. You can tell. If you really, I mean, if you really want to see it, that's it back there. Yeah, I tell you, yellow. I've been having a lot of yellow cans lately, and and uh, and yes, I have to use this because I can't get my damn fingers under the damn tab because my fingers are all jacked up. All right, y'all. So this beer I've kicked a series is a New England style IPA, so I like that better than a. But is it an Imperial New England? Because they say it's an Imperial. Shit. Time out. Time out. Don't even know what the hell I was saying. I had a little spear, a little spill thing going on there. I tell you, the Sierra Nevada, the head is like really foamy and frothy. Yeah. Anyhow, whatever I was saying, it must have been very important. I did have a little spill. It slipped on my hand, can hit the table. Didn't really spill that much, but I had to cut it off to wipe it up a little bit. So, uh, yeah. That was awesome. Now. I'm hoping no beer went into my microphone, though, but hopefully not. Hopefully you can still hear me. All right, so look at that. Another one. I can see a silhouette. Shadows of my finger going through. A little cloudy. Frothy, frothy head. Uh, it's a still one finger. It smells great. Mm, yeah, a little bit of mango. Citrus, a little bit of piney grapefruit in there, but it smells like it might be all right. Let's give it a try. What do you think, right? Let's not waste any more time. Definitely a hoppy. I wish it had the IBUs on there. Definitely hoppy though with a Chinook, a Zika, Amarillo, and Idaho hops. Pretty hoppy, but I guess it melts out a little bit with those malts. The pale malts, or two roll pale oats and a wheat. I'm not a big wheat fan. I hate I hate wheat. But anyhow, what can you do, right? Pretty smooth. It's hoppy. Um, mostly the grapefruit, a little piney, a little mangoey. It's kind of dry. Kind of a dry, hoppy finish a little bit, too. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's easy to drink. What beer advocate give us? 88. Yeah. 
One more sip, I'll get my grade. Pretty good. Being a New England style IPA, according to Beer Advocate, they don't say it on here, never say it on the cans for a New England style. I would like a little bit more fruity, juicy, juicy fruit. You know, that you get typically when you're New England IPAs. Juicy fruit, right? Not regular use, but it is a little bit dry. I'd like it to be a little bit more juicy, not dry. But it's not bad. Yeah, I, I give this one a B plus and a swallow. There you go. I like it. Now, is it in my top 10 beers? No. My top 20? No. No, is it in my top 50 for IPAs? Probably. We'll leave it at that, right? Anyhow, anything special about this can? I don't think so. It's got a number 12 on there. Oh, 12 ounces. Okay. I put a little 12 up here on the Uh, nothing else special. Yeah, Sierra Nevada, I've been doing a lot of little hazy stuff lately, and they're, most of them have been pretty good. Another one I've been doing a lot of is uh, the, the old Highland Brewing Company stuff. So I've been doing a lot of IPAs lately between these guys, Duclaw, Duclaw, big mix of beers, actually, and Highlands, Highland Brewing, North Carolina. Good times. Jammer's missing out. Although Jammer didn't make the, the Sari or the St. Paddy's Day we did it live on March 16th. Oh, well. Yeah, so this beer, if you see it out there, grab it. These haze beers by Sierra Nevada have been pretty good. All these different little haze IP. This is fan. I forget what type of haze was they got. I'm not even going to look it up. I mean, I could, but they got a bunch of different ones. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to write a list down them because I go back out to buy, shop for beers. I'll be like, did I do that one or that one? Yeah. I know I've done about three or four of them, I think, already. Pretty good beer, though, if you got to try If you got any of those Sierra Nevada Haze beers, I got one more beer review to do. I think me and Jammer did that one, but I'm sure if it's on a kernel or on an old channel that was deleted by the powers that be. And possibly it was on the old channel. Uh, with the new channel, we've been out since July of, yeah, because it was after July 4th. We got canceled like in the middle of July, July 10th, 15th. So I had to create a new channel then of 2020. I've never been canceled in my life. The only time I've ever been canceled besides that was when I was in third grade. I was on, you know. Baseball team, Pee Wee, Small Fry, whatever the hell you call it. Uh, me and this kid, Darren Howard, we were on a baseball team. And somehow we missed practice because we went to the wrong field one day. And then the next day, we don't even know if we are really kicked off the team. But a kid on the team said we were kicked off the team because we missed, missed practice. We believed the kid and never went back, but who knows if we really got kicked off the team. Anyhow, it's the Darren Howard. I don't know where he's at now. Another friend. Don't know what the hell happened to him. Kenny Kaiser. Last time I seen him, I was probably a freshman in high school, maybe the summer after my freshman year. He moved to this, another one moved to the south side. I guess the south side just really eats people up or something. Never saw him again. And nobody knows what the hell happened to him. Any of my friends from New York don't know what hell, don't know what happened to him. He's not on Facebook. We don't know what the fuck happened to him. Maybe he died, for all we know. It's fucking crazy, huh? Anyhow, let's get to the next video. Fuck, I'm fucking doom and gloom, right? I used to work with somebody. I was like, hey, you hear this person died? This person died? Hey, this you know, super star or celebrity died? And the guy, 
The guy called me, man, you're just like the Grim Reaper. All you talk about is death. I was like, yeah, fun subject, man. It's all around. People dying every fucking day. <laughs> Anyhow, cheers, y'all. <laughs> uh, Shag dog or swallow beer. I got a good beer to come up uh, next. I don't know if it's a Mexican beer or Irish or what the hell kind of beer it is, but we'll see what it is. Anyhow, see you on the next one. Spitter's all a beer review. Shag dog. Have a great day.